welcome back to my channel. My name is Kenzie, if you're new here. Today we're doing something a little bit special. I'm going to be doing the Disney Princess Disney Bounding. So if you guys don't know what Disney Bounding is, basically you dress up in like inspiration of a character. So you kind of just like take pull from different pieces of the movies and combine them and make an outfit that resembles that person's character. So I did Disney princesses this time and I kind of want to do um, a whole series of this and do different styles, um, different movies, stuff like that. Like Frozen, I really want to do because that's one of my favorites. But this one was all Disney princess inspired. So I'm really excited to bring this to you guys today and I hope you enjoy. So first up, we have Princess Aurora or perhaps better known as Sleeping Beauty. I didn't even plan this, but I accidentally did all of the princesses casual wear instead of their formal dresses that they might be known for. But then once I realized it, I thought it was kind of awesome. And I just went ahead and stuck with it. I decided to style this princess with all of the pinks and blues. So that included my pink and blue earrings as well as my pink Michael Kors crossbody. I thought it was the perfect nod to the fairies who kept fighting over whether her dress should be pink or blue. By the way, what do you guys think? Vote down below, pink or blue? My vote is for pink. I decided to pair this outfit with my black and white gingham flats from Forever 21. For my outfit, I am wearing the linen skort from Cedar and Vine. It's a part of the Beck collection, along with a black tube top from Forever 21 and just a plain white long sleeve shirt that I'm pretty sure I got at Target, but I know you can get these anywhere. It wouldn't be Sleeping Beauty without a little bit of sleeping. Those chairs are actually super comfortable, and I think I'll be back. Next up, we have Ariel. Do you guys pronounce it Ariel or Ariel? I've heard it both ways, but I mostly go with Ariel. I styled her with kind of a flip-flop look. All of my pieces just ended up being in the reverse order. So to start, I have my red heels from Charlotte Russe. And aren't these just so cute? I love the color, I love the tie detailing, and I just feel like I can do anything in these shoes. Moving to the accessories, I added my choker starfish necklace as well as my starfish earrings. They were perfect for under the sea look. For my main part of the look, I'm wearing my light purple skirt from Target. It was a part of the Wild Fable collection and it's honestly one of my favorites as well as an off-the-shoulder green tube top from Apricot Lane. I loved the little scalloping details and the ruching of the top because it almost reminded me of scales and fins. Next, we have Princess Tiana. Now, this one might not be quite as easy to spot as some of the other ones, but I did have her traditional yellow dress and instead of a white apron, I used my white head wrap with a little bow from Amazon. I decided to pair this one with my sneakers from Beachy Dolls because let's be honest, Tiana is a boss babe and she doesn't have any time to be wearing heels. For my accessories, I decided to have a little fun here and play off of the voodoo Dr. Facilier vibe. So I styled it with my skeleton earrings, which I actually found at Walmart. To make the look 
absolutely complete, I added my army green jacket. That way I looked just like she did in the beginning of the movie when she was on her way to work. Tiana is such a fun one to do because since the movie is based out of Louisiana and I actually live here, I felt like I was totally embodying her spirit. Next up, we've got Belle. This is probably one of my favorite looks from today just because I'm obsessed with a light blue dress. For accessories, I decided to wear my Eiffel Tower earrings since, you know, Belle is from France, as well as my blue scrunchie to resemble the blue bow that she wears in her hair. And let's not forget the book and the rose, two key staple pieces in any Belle look, if you ask me. Here I am sporting a white flowy blouse from a local boutique along with that light blue dress from Shop Red Dress to pull in the village bell vibes. We can't forget about Princess Jasmine. This look was so much fun to recreate and I kind of put my own spin on it while still making sure to keep some key jasmine pieces. Like her hair. Do you remember how she had those kind of like bubbled, sectioned off pieces in her ponytail? Luckily I have long hair, so it kind of worked. It's probably one of my favorite pieces because it's just so unique and so fun to wear. I decided to wear something that would be two pieces. That way it still gave off that pant and crop top vibe. So in this, I'm wearing just a pair of tribal shorts from Target and a teal shirt from a local boutique. And for shoes, I decided to keep it neutral and kind of like a slide because I feel like that's something she would be wearing and I also didn't have any teal shoes so these had to do. And last but certainly not least, the princess I feel like I probably embody the most. It's probably just the hair, but Rapunzel! As soon as I saw this dress in my closet, I knew it was for sure my Rapunzel outfit. I mean, it has the purple, the pink, the flowers. What more could you ask for? I decided to keep that theme going with my floral headband, and I added a choker necklace with a little sun charm. And of course, it wouldn't be Rapunzel without a pan. Can't you just hear her saying, Eugene? So, which one was your favorite princess look? Make sure to leave it in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got a lot of Disney inspiration and that you just like felt excited and happy about it like I did. Like I literally every time I dress up as these characters, I'm like, I feel them. You know, like I have my pan with Rapunzel and I'm like, yes, Eugene, like maybe that's just me. But anyway, thank you guys so much for being here today and I'll see you next time. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment below and definitely give us a big thumbs up.